For the second time in a week, the UN Security Council held an emergency session on North Korea's nuclear weapons program. The easy part, condemning Pyongyang's test explosion. The hard part, how to punish a country already under economic sanctions and a leader who has ignored every international call to stand down. His abusive use of missiles and his nuclear threats show that he is begging for war. War is never something the United States wants. We don't want it now. But our country's patience is not unlimited. We will defend our allies and our territory. Some of the ideas under discussion, stopping most oil deliveries to North Korea, favored by the U.S., opposed by both China and Russia. Also being discussed, banning North Koreans from working overseas, blocking sales of North Korean-made clothing and fabric, and grounding the national airline. The Chinese ambassador floated a different proposal. North Korea gives up its weapons program if the U.S. and South Korea stop their joint military exercises. This joint initiative by China and Russia is practical and feasible, aimed at addressing the most pressing security concerns of the parties concerned, easing the tension as soon as possible, preventing the escalation of the situation round after another round, achieving through dialogue the denuclearization of the peninsula and maintaining the peace and security of the peninsula and the region. What is a non-starter? Any talk of military action approved by the Security Council. The Russian ambassador implicitly criticized the Trump administration for raising the specter of a military response. Vasily Navenzia called on all sides to avoid making emotional decisions. Sanctions alone, whatever bans, uh, are introduced will not uh, will not help to solve the issue because the aim is to stop the nuclearization to go for de denuclearization and uh, eventually uh, hopefully to come back back to the six party talks the u.s is drafting a resolution which it hopes will be ready for a vote in the council sometime next week that's optimistic because the u.s Moscow and Beijing have all declared their areas where they're not willing to compromise. But those might be the very places where the North Korea crisis can be resolved. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera at the United Nations.